Imagine two twins, one zipping around space at near light speeds, the other chilling on Earth. To the Earth twin, time ticks by as usual. But for the astronaut twin, time actually stretches out, they age slower. This is called time dilation and it's the essence of time being relative. Here's why. Motion affects time. The faster you move, the slower your time runs compared to someone standing still. At super speeds, tiny differences become noticeable. Gravity bends time. The stronger the gravity, the slower time flows. So, someone standing on a massive planet like Jupiter would age slightly slower than someone on Earth. Think of time as a stretchy fabric. When you're moving or near strong gravity, the fabric stretches, making your time longer compared to others in different reference points. It's weird, but true. Time isn't absolute. It's a relative experience based on your movement and the gravitational influence around you. Remember, this is a simplified explanation. The science behind relativity is complex, but hopefully, this gives you a basic understanding of how time can be relative. Let's explore some science behind the concept. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, proposed in the early 20th century, revolutionized our understanding of space, time, and gravity. There are two main components of the theory, special relativity and general relativity. Special relativity. One of the key principles of special relativity is that the laws of physics are the same for all observers in uniform motion relative to each other. This means that there is no absolute reference frame. Motion is relative. The theory introduces the concept of spacetime, combining the three dimensions of space with the dimension of time into a four-dimensional continuum. Events that occur at the same time for one observer may occur at different times for another observer in relative motion. Special relativity also introduces the idea of time dilation. According to the theory, time appears to move more slowly for an observer in motion relative to a stationary observer. This effect becomes significant as the speed of an object approaches the speed of light. General relativity General relativity expands on special relativity by incorporating gravity. Instead of viewing gravity as a force between masses, Einstein proposed that massive objects cause spacetime to curve. In turn, the curvature of spacetime influences the motion of objects. Gravity, according to general relativity, is not a force acting at a distance. Instead, it is the warping of spacetime caused by the presence of mass and energy. Objects move along curved paths in this curved spacetime, which we perceive as the force of gravity. General relativity also predicts that time is affected by gravity. Clocks in stronger gravitational fields, closer to massive objects, tick more slowly than clocks in weaker gravitational fields. This phenomenon is known as gravitational time dilation. In summary, Einstein's theory of relativity demonstrates that time is not an absolute and uniform entity. Instead, it is relative and can be influenced by motion and gravity. The faster an object is moving or the stronger the gravitational field it is in, the more time appears to pass differently for observers in different conditions. These effects have been experimentally confirmed and are crucial for understanding the behavior of the universe especially in extreme conditions such as near the speed of light or in strong gravitational fields.